Alric is a slim, tall person of nearly 1.9 meters, 6 foot 1, with long and blonde hair and some well-defined facial features. Getting into his 30s, Alric is what appears to be the oldest person in the party, except for Arbash, but he is a dwarf. The fact that Ulrich's academic record required several years in libraries, reading huge books and spending long nights reading, thinking and developing theories have left signs on his face, giving him some first wrinkles around the eyes and on his forehead. Ulrich's right hand has been more than half covered in scar tissue after a spellcasting accident during his academic education. He usually does cover the scars with a glove, which also hides the academy seal. Overall, his body looks very frail, but he is not without physical features, which are required by his profession as a combat mage. Alric is obviously a wizard, and as such he strikes respect into most people. He is aware of his status as a white mage and knows about his capabilities, which he demonstrates by openly appearing as the wise man, the solver of intellectual issues and, of course, a person who can sling a fireball at his enemies. People usually approach him with respect because of his profession. In battle, he often is one of the first targets, because he can turn the tides of a battle very quickly. His slim and not too powerful looking body sometimes fool people into thinking he might be weak, a circumstance he sometimes uses to his advantage. Alric grew up as a pretty troubled young boy in Silkwiesen, a small village near Garret, the big capital city of the Central Realm. A location which like a magnet allures all kinds of individuals. His parents were both working in the local inn and so young Alric spent his time helping out, being made fun of by lots of travelers, since he was not only small and not very strong, but also incredibly meek. He suffered in those early years of his life since he hated it so much that strangers would make fun of him and his parents were forced to endure this since these travelers were what paid their wages. It was not until his sixth birthday when people started to suspect that something is really different about that boy when he suddenly disappeared and had gone missing for a long time. A very long time. It was not until ten years later that Ulrich reappeared in the middle of the nearby swamp seemingly unharmed and only slightly aged. His parents, who thought he was dead, did not believe their eyes and the boy, unable to speak to anyone, was avoided by everyone in the village. This went on for half a year and only by chance a traveling mage named Corin Magnusson was able to connect with the boy he kept telling unbelievable stories about fairies, elves and small creatures which are a mixture between man and animal. Corin Magnusson obviously had experience with this sort of phenomena and not only was he able to make the boy talk normal again, and an examination also showed why Alric disappeared in the first place. Upon discovering this secret, Corin convinced Alric's parents to leave the boy with him and them being older and overwhelmed now agreed that the elderly mage should take the boy who apparently had some magic potential. Corin brought the boy to a friend of his in Garret for further help and promised to cover the costs but the academy in Garret did not have room in this year for yet another student. So they decided to send him to Bailung instead to get a magical education. Alric, having lived in a different world for some undefined time, had severe issues getting used to the tone and the curriculum of a battle mage academy of the central realm. He was physically one of the less advanced students and got hurt a lot. 
The officers shouted, heard him, and were extremely demanding. All this being pushed around for months and now being in a location without any contact caused him to withdraw again. It took nearly two years and the insistence of Magister Corran to both academy staff and Ulrich to get to a stage where he finally adapted to this lifestyle and how he did this. His education took a real turn and he was able to catch up with the other students over the next two years. After this, his education took a normal path with making his adeptus examination, getting into a researcher position and do some field work. He worked for the academy for several years until he decided that it is now time to do some real work in the world. He tried to establish contact with his parents in Silkwiesen, but they became too estranged over the events in his childhood. He still sends them money on a regular base. Arik has a deep love for nature and living things, something he only came to realize when he grew up to be a mage in the library. He realized this when being on a field expedition to find out about elven combat magic. The fact that he enjoyed being outdoors surprised him as well and he kept searching for a way to make this work. So one day, three years ago, he resigned his posts and took his money to become a traveling mage help out people and make sure magic is being used correctly. It almost took a year until he realized that he eventually walked into the footsteps of the late Magister Koron, a fact that made Alric realize that he had found his destiny. He met Kaya one day in the academy in Thorval and what she told him about the group struck a chord. Aside from Kaya being, well, Kaya. He did. Alric disappeared for almost 10 years, only aging seemingly a year. This is also the reason his physical age is actually unknown. Alric is initiate of the 12 gods and he uses every chance to visit the services of any of the gods. He has a particular fondness of the women of the pantheon though. Hesinde, as the goddess of magic and knowledge of course, is on the top of his list, but Perain and Tsa are very high on this priority as well. He also shares a very deep connection with Firun, which he usually does not talk about. Alric is a mage. Magic is a mystical power that goes far beyond what mortal races currently do with it. The old ages knew much higher levels of magic, which man is still not able to understand. The lands hold secrets of old and he, Alric, is one of the people who have seen more than what is being told in the academy school rooms. Elves, dwarves, witches are just the closest examples. How do dragons fly? What are the secrets of the seventh sphere? And where did he end up as a child? Alric is out there to discover those secrets. He would risk his life for the truth and for people he considers his friends. After the events of Thorval, he would risk his life for everyone in his group, especially for Kaya, but he would never tell her this. Alric aims to discover secrets of magic that no other mage has discovered before him. He wants to get back to the realm he disappeared to as a child and unveil its secrets. He wants to write it down and thus note down his name in the magical history. Spiders. Alric is extremely afraid of spiders. The bigger, the more he is afraid. Alric is a God-fearing, law-abiding citizen of the Central Realm. He uses magic only to do good and he certainly would not use dark magic. It is only because of certain emotions, which only affect man, that he does not intervene when Kaya does something that is not by the rules. She very well knows about this and he cannot speak up to her. It is no question that Ulrich is the first person to agree to help other people. 
even if there is no bounty or treasure to be retrieved. Arik usually approaches the new people with a mixture of politeness and respect. Only if they are magic users, he will be a little more cautious. When talking to the general populace, he will always be trying to be helpful, consultative and friendly. Life and all living things are to be protected and the most valuable gifts of the gods. Alric's education as a mage who brings death and destruction seems to be a contradiction. But when you see how Alric uses his power, then it becomes quite obvious that it is actually not. Alric will use his power to protect life and he will do whatever it takes to stop those who do not value it. Animals are part of the world and there is more animals than men. Alric values all kinds of animals as living beings and shares that love with others openly. He is able to sit in front of an anthill for hours, not saying a word or even move. Alric can value the beauty of nature and people. He has a sense for nice music and lyrics. He likes all sorts of colors in nature and can adore flowers for a longer time than most other people. He does like very sweet tea and all sorts of pastries with honey in it. This has been the case since he came back from disappearing. It is literally non-existent. He would like to have something like this but his work is taking most of his time and he is simply put too shy to speak to anyone about this. There is one particular person of interest though. Arik got abducted by fairies as a kid. He spent 10 years of Dera time in their realm in what felt to be a little over two years. It is difficult to say or determine since time is not a constant factor in the realms of fairies. He was eventually let go when he grew a little and the fairies got bored with him. Arik is known to be the most friendly character in the group besides Vindariel. He is extremely open to listen to foreigners and always offers his help. <laughs>